Yo, 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 yo. What's going on, guys? Happy Monday. Hope everyone had a great weekend. I was out at the Open all day yesterday. Came home, watched the Super Bowl. Uh, it was a pretty ideal weekend. Got a lot of stuff done, too. It was fun. So today I want to talk about how the fix is always within you. It's always available to you. Uh, I work with so many clients and so many people, and anytime that anybody is having a difficult time, they're challenged, they don't feel like they're in the flow. When I work with entrepreneur, entrepreneurs who are struggling to be productive, they're just not feeling it right now, um, or if you're, you're, you're diseased, you're stressed, you're anxious, you're just out of alignment, we can always go back to the basics. We can always go back to the way we are prioritizing ourselves and whether we are practicing self-love and self-care or not. And what tends to happen is if we are out of alignment, if we're stressed, if we're feeling challenged, if we're just not feeling it right now, um, we can always look back to the fact that we're not prioritizing ourselves like we should, or the fact that we are not giving ourselves enough self-love, we're not prioritizing our self-care enough. So if you go back to those basics, you go back to those things at work, um, if you've read my ebook, Smash Your Day, you know exactly what those things are. You've identified what works for you, what helps you to create the feelings that you want to feel every day, what helps you to generate energy, what helps you to generate focus, what helps you to get into the flow. You know what all those things are. And I would bet you that anytime you felt challenged in your life, any time you felt stressed, even if it's conditions that are outside of your control, if you're not managing them well, if you're not managing your emotions well, it's probably because you're not prioritizing yourself and you're not taking care of yourself in the way that you should. You are not in control of how you create your feelings and emotions, which likely means you're not in alignment with your purpose. So anytime you're feeling like that, anytime you're not feeling in the flow, anytime you're feeling stuck, anytime you're feeling um, challenged, you're, you're, you're physically tired, you're fatigued, go back, get still, look at how you are prioritizing yourself and likely you're probably not prioritizing yourself. Focus on prioritizing yourself and focus on all the little things that you do that you know that work for you. Whether it's a gratitude practice, um, maybe it's your diet. For me, if I am eliminating processed shit and I'm not eating sugar and I'm really taking care of myself and hydrating, I just automatically feel better. Uh, probably the biggest thing for me I've discovered is sleep. If I'm not getting sleep, I don't function well. Um, and that contradicts everything I believed for the first 30 years of my life because I always thought that I could run without sleep. But the big important thing for me is to understand that I make bad decisions or I don't feel motivated or I don't feel inspired. I, I don't practice my rituals. I don't stick to my schedule and routine and I lack discipline if I am sleep deprived. So that is an important thing for me. Um, amongst the rituals that, that really put me in the state that I want to be in gratitude, if I can find gratitude and I mean completely immerse myself in a state of gratitude to where I feel overwhelmed with gratitude, then I put myself at a higher vibration, put myself at a better energy, and I just feel better in everything that I do. Um, if your relationships are struggling, it's often because uh, one or both partners aren't prioritizing themselves um, in a healthy way, and they aren't bringing with them the energy of, of confidence, of masculinity or femininity, um, and they're not approaching it from... Uh, the sense of self-love and self-care. So they're looking for the relationship to fill them up. They're looking for the relationship. They're outsourcing their power to the re relationship or to their partner. And it inhibits them from bringing what they need to bring into the relationship. And the relationship is deprived because of that. So whatever you're feeling, challenged, you're just not in the mood, you're, just, you're, you're stressed, you're overwhelmed, you're anxious, you're depressed, um, you're diseased, you aren't, just aren't in the flow. This one tip, check your priorities and make sure that you are practicing all of your self-care and self-love that you need to. And sometimes it's just bring awareness to it and just we just need to reset. And once we reset, we get back to our basics. We focus on the things that we, we do when we feel really great and we re-implement those. Then it puts us back on the right path. It resets that button. It resets our, our, our cycle. Um, we get our energy up, we get our focus up, we feel better, we get in alignment with our purpose, we're creating the emotions that we want to feel every day, and we're doing it with intent, we're doing it consciously. It's going to happen, you're going to get away from those, you're going to, even though you know they work, even though they may be non-negotiables, there's going to be times where you get away from them. And the thing with, when, when, when situations get overwhelming, and we have a lot of shit going on, that is a time when it is so important that you really go all in on your rituals and you prioritize yourself so that you can bring whatever you need to to deal with all those situations. And I promise you, when you slow down a little bit, 
you prioritize yourself and you focus on getting your rituals in and doing all the things for self-love and self-care, problems begin to fade away. Things organize better. You can attack one thing rather than feeling overwhelmed by a bunch of things. Um, and you can just get so much more done and feel so much more better. So hit the reset button. If this is uh, resonating with you right now, maybe you started out the new year doing this and you know, as, as January passed and we got into February, you just got away from these things. Now is the time to hit the reset button. Go all in on your priorities, prioritizing yourself on making yourself and your care number one in your life because it's going to allow you to generate uh, that, that state and that, that being, that, that presence that you need to give to other people. It's not selfish. It's selfish if you're depriving other people of the best version of yourself. This is why you have to reset the butt, reset everything and get back to what works. So if you're feeling any of this, please do that. If this resonates with you, please let me know. I want to hear about it. Uh, and as always, please share this so other people can hear my message as well. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.